I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. I said what I said, and I'm going to say it again. Hell no. Y'all, there is some crazy shit going on right now with Escape, and the streets are saying that the Queens of R&B Tour has Rocky and Latasha Scott so pissed off right now. And I've got updated tea from Candy, Mona, and Escape. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And I am hoping that you guys actually did not get that extra insurance package on your tickets to see Escape in SWV because from the looks of things, the show will definitely be going on. They just may have to actually give Latasha Scott a portion of the funds while she sits at home, hate watching, while they do all the work. And how come y'all think everything is a grudge? It's not a grudge. I don't like you anymore. I saw your awful character. You disgust me. Now, let's move on. I don't want to be friends with musty monkeys. It's not a grudge. I don't like you, you musty monkey. Oh. Okay, now I know that some of you guys have kept your ear to the streets and you don't really need the backstory here, but some of our cousins don't be having their notifications turned on. They don't be following the girls on the gram like we do, so let me catch them up really quick. Escape and SWV announced a joint tour called the Queens of R&B Tour. The most important thing in a relationship is understanding. Can we show each other some understanding? To want to feel appreciated isn't weak. Okay, Mona. <laughs> that there's more going on here than just kicking it. <laughs> and the teaser was so iconic. Are you just saying hard song titles back to us? I don't know what you mean. Mona, you're not even a real therapist. Wait, wait, I think we've made some good progress here. Have we? I think we can all agree we're ready for the next step. Uh-oh, what's your name, Steph? I thought you'd never ask. We're going on tour! We all kind of just thought like, oh damn, like, where's Latasha Scott? Oh well, like, and I think that we all probably assumed that Latasha was like, oh hell no, nah. like, y'all can have that, I don't want nothing to do with it, I sing for Jesus now. Oh my God, y'all, oh my God! But it turns out, allegedly, they never even invited Latasha Scott, and she found out when we found out that they were going on this huge multi-city tour, and she's pissed. Then it was the boss. I guess she called off work. Straight from the A dropped a bombshell article that gave us all the tea about Latasha Scott sending Live Nation and Mona Scott a cease and desist since she's one of the co-owners of the Escape trademark. And she basically told those girls, oh, y'all thought y'all were about to be out here getting this bag without me, with my brand? Chow boo, bitch better have my money. <laughs> Let the games begin. Nah, I just summarized a whole nine minute video in like 60 seconds. <laughs> See, this is what I be needing to do on TikTok. Now, since I made that video, things have gotten really interesting. I don't know who snitched and sent my video over to the authorities, but y'all. There's a traitor amongst us. Was it you? Guilty. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mona Scott definitely ate me up just a little bit commenting under my Instagram post in front of everybody talking about best believe the show will go on exclamation point. But this was funny <laughs> with the cry laughing face emojis. Great job with the edit. Oh, that's no. in the sense that no. you know what I mean? No, because y'all y'all just going to let her laugh in my face like that. Send out. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Like, honestly, I was actually really happy to hear this because I really want to see these women be great and I am really excited about the Queens of R&B tour. But y'all know that I always have to be <laughs> just a little bit petty because I'm always going to be here for the drama. <laughs> now, before I get into this statement from Escape, I got to tell y'all about something that happened to me. 
Yo, I was in the store the other week and you know how you have all of that random stuff on the shelves while you're making your way to the register? Yeah, I sprayed this scent on myself and I wasn't quite sold at the moment, but on my way home, like I got completely obsessed with this smell. It smelled so good and I was spiraling for like a week because I could not remember what the cologne was called and I knew that I would probably never see it again. The moral of the story is to never ever ignore divine intervention like this, or you could just try Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that lets you choose from over 700 brands, including some fancy ones like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. I really love that Scentbird lets you pick whatever designer fragrance you want to try every single month for just $17. And I recently received three scents and they all came in these cool perfume vials. And look y'all, there is so much fragrance in there. I'm a heavy sprayer and this 30 day supply literally lasts me for months. My first pick was Gucci Guilty and I obviously picked it because it's Gucci, but I typically always go for any fragrance that includes some sort of lavender and I'm glad I did because y'all, it smells amazing. I also got Fuck Mondays by Confessions of a Rebel, which is a nice little brand that I get a couple times and they've never released it. Oh. Oh my, oh my, it smells so good. It's definitely giving new spring signature scent vibes, 100%. It's so fun to try something new without having to commit to a full bottle. Go ahead and tap the link in my description to check out Scentbird for yourself and use code BINGE to get 55% off at Scentbird. It'll be just a little over $7 for the first month and it's available in the US and Canada. Thank you so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all, let's get back to the tea. Now, the Scott sister that's still in the group, Tamika, caught wind of the rumors going around about Latasha Scott allegedly trying to shut everything down, and she released this statement talking about, a co-owner of a trademark is unable to maintain an infringement action against another co-owner of the same trademark. Each co-owner has the right to exercise its trademark rights, including granting licenses to third parties, i.e. Live Nation and Mona Me Entertainment. A valid license of one co-owner of a trademark cannot be liable to another co-owner for infringement. I don't know, like, I get... This co-owner thing is just... It just really complicates things, and I don't really understand why all four of the members of the group have not gotten the opportunity to like split ownership of the escape brain evenly. Like that's always been weird to me. And I feel like that would solve all of this mess because at that point you would have three against one. And I just feel like that's like 75% of the group, you know? I don't know, it's just really weird. And on Friday, the Neighborhood Talk posted about all of this confusion talking about, oop, Latasha must be trying to stop their bag child with the side eye emojis. After that, Candy Burris and Tiny also co-signed that message with Tamika re-uploading her statement with all three escape group members attached, captioning the post saying, Despite all the rumors, Escape and SWV, the Queens of R&B tour, is definitely still on! Exclamation point, exclamation point. Get your tickets now and come kick it with us! Exclamation point. We love our fans and we can't wait to see you there. Hashtag women supporting women. Clap if you think she should suffer. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I don't know y'all. I tried to get our resident legal expert, Stephanie, over here to like talk about this with me today, but she's booked and busy. So I don't know, like I'm not an attorney. I can't really speak on this. I could see this being the law when it comes to co-owning a trademark, but if it's true, it honestly opens up so many doors for so many possibilities. All I know is I, all I know is I better not see Latasha with three other girls hollering about being escaped somewhere <laughs> or anything like that, honestly, because this is kind of a slippery slope if this is true. Let me know what you guys think about this. On one hand, I definitely get it. Like you can't let one disgruntled group member stop the show. But as a trademark owner myself, I would be so pissed off if I did all of that work to get my trademark 
and then find out that people are allowed to do business with my brand that I have ownership over without me? Like, I don't know, it's hard. It is really, really hard to pick a side on this one. How do you guys feel? I don't even know why you were here. Security, can you please escort this lady over here out? In my last video, y'all know that I speculated about whether or not this was all a scheme that Todd set up to come to us with season two of the Queens of R&B. Because Latasha, girl, let me find out that this is all a scheme to come to us with the bullshit just for season two of the Queens of R&B. And that's how I feel. We talked about how the Jasmine brand got fans so excited for no reason a few weeks ago when they released a story teasing exclusive news about Bravo's plans to finally bring back Candy and the girls for another season. But things got weird when one of SWV's group members shut down those rumors, commenting under the post saying, uh-uh, where is this coming from, question mark? This is not true at all. Please check with reliable sources. I'm sorry you were misinformed with the retro heart emoji. But I don't know if they're keeping the second season of the show on Hush for now, just because they don't want Latasha and Rocky to try and mess that up too, or if Bravo is being Bravo and failing to give us what we really want again, or if SWV is just like completely out of the loop again while Escape is running the show. Oh. But Mona, girl, listen, if y'all are actually doing a season two of the Queens of r and all I'm saying is remember my petty edit on that last video and at least let me edit the trailer or something because I would definitely eat that up. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, y'all, I have my fingers crossed for a season two because even though it's technically not been announced at this point, I feel like Bravo could use all the black content right now because what else are we gonna do while we wait for them to figure out what the hell is going on with season 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all of this. Do you think that Mona Scott and Candy were already two steps ahead of Latasha and her husband or do you guys feel like they're shaking in their boots right now, trying to decide how much they're gonna give Latasha so that they can go ahead and be great? Also, let me know if you guys feel like Christ is not pleased with them allegedly planning this whole new era without ever even inviting Latasha Scott. What's going on? Like, I'm literally puzzled. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you haven't already, please go and check out my dark history video about how black people basically invented country music. I really do appreciate you guys supporting my Cowboy Carter era while I've been in my educational content bag because yeah, I feel like we definitely been country. Also, thanks again Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go ahead and check out the links in the description box below so that you will be smelling extra fresh. Cut.